what up what up what up what's up guys welcome back to another video i'm actually really enjoying these little sit down kind of come along with me and the ride kind of videos it's easy to make you can make it in my basement i don't have to plan anything i don't have to find my i don't have to pack up a bag or anything like that just set up my camera set this up my computer yeah get to shooting so this is like really simple like if you guys like these kind of videos let me know that way i can you know figure out what i want to do like two videos in one week that's kind of crazy for me if you don't know who i am my name is to phil i'm one half of tto production on this channel i'm the dude that makes all the videos so i've been shooting videos for about six years now six to five years now you guys know that nowadays like everything's on youtube and you learn everything from youtube well that's where i learned all my editing and obviously you know experience gives you more knowledge kind of figure out your own flow kind of figure out like how you like doing things what's more efficient for you and today i want to kind of give back to you guys talk to the future editors and people that are editing already and give you guys a editing tip today so <laughs> i made a whole segment for this got to be called Tease Tips Tuesdays. <laughs> okay, so welcome to the first Tease to Tease tip tease tips tuesday yeah so today i'm gonna give you guys a basic tip maybe most of you guys have already been using this but this is i'm talking to the people that haven't used it being a wedding filmmaker we have to take tons of footage multiple different cameras a whole bunch of audio files piece those together to make a like a interesting highlight a long format documentary kind of video you know i made bts videos that had like terabytes of footage and i needed to go through all of them to kind of like pick out the best parts clean way that i you know, learn from other people. I think it was, I forgot his name, man. I learned it from somebody on YouTube. I forgot what it was. And I tried it out and I was like, yo, this makes my workflow a lot faster. But yeah, so we're going to hop on the computer and I'm going to show you guys the editing tip that I have for you guys uh, while I work on this wedding film. All right, so first thing first, open up Premiere Pro. Yeah, so I edited everything on Premiere Pro. I am not changing. I know everybody's switching over to like DaVinci and Final Cut and stuff like that. Like I'm not switching, bro. Like I am comfortable with this. I'm fast at this. This is what I want to use. So uh, I'm not, I'm not switching. Hello. That's the baby mama. All right, so I got Premiere Pro open over here, but I'm just gonna drop this in here real quick. All right, guys, so I got everything imported. I got all the clips in here. I got a couple songs in here and then all the clips over here. So when I started, the way I would do it is I would bring in the song layer and then I would just listen to it. And then I would go here, open the clip file. And then I would just go, I would just bring this clip in and then I would be like, oh, okay, I like this part. And then I would delete, push it here. And then I'll, okay, I don't want this part. And then I will cut here and then delete. And then I would go through clip by clip, creating the video as I was going along so as I was going through clip by clip it would delete the part that I wanted and then I will put that here you know and then I would delete that part that I didn't want and then then I would just keep going so I'll go through the whole list of footage one by one and then create the video that way this type of process takes a lot of time and then sometimes like it might be a clip up here that you want to use later in your video and there might be a clip on here all the way down the list where you want to put earlier in the video it just gets jumbled up and confused and you don't know which one you already used and which one you didn't it's just a a lot of work right so creating a video when you initially put the audio in and then you don't even have these selected yet like which clip you want to keep which clip you don't want to keep which clip is garbage which clip is good like making those decisions as you're making your video is very hectic and it takes hours maybe days for you to just come up with like ideas especially if you've shot something you know weeks or months prior then now you're starting to go through the footage and try to like remember what you were creatively thinking when you were shooting this this is how i used to do it before and it would take days for me to finish a video but the trick that I'm going to show you guys today is called actually called pancaking. So the way you do pancaking is you go. So say this is the first shot that I have of him make an in and out point on the part that I want. And then the part that I wanted to stop. Right. So I want this part of the clip. As long as your timeline's already created or your or your sequence is already created, you can just you have like a shortcut and then you can just add it to where your timeline is. So there you go. And you go here. I like it here. So I'm going to add that here. So I like this clip all the way up to here. So just making in and out points of the parts that you want to keep. You can easily do this with keyboard shortcuts. You make your life a lot easier. So I like that part when he's fixing his shawl let's go to the next one here i got a walking shot of him i wanted to start up here and then as he's coming up i want to cut it there i just want to add that part this is them two together they're touching foreheads i want to start it here from where i stopped shaking and then end it there okay 
and then I want to do this and then I want this part this part is pretty cute so I add that part it's a different angle of the same shot so I just go through and I just scrub through each footage and then add that clip as I'm going clip by clip another tip that I'm gonna give you so I know from the way that I shoot things that this is the outdoor photo shoot part I know that this is the section where I do the outdoor photo shoot right okay so from here on so I'm just gonna go up here and I'm gonna label these a different color do forest okay so now if I go through and I decide I like it from here to here before I zoom in, I'm going to add that part. So this it adds it with that color. So that's a good way of breaking up sections on your pancake timeline. You can switch it up and make a sequence per section of footage that you're working on. So if you're working on an outdoor photo shoot, have like a sequence for that. If you're working on the inside, have a sequence for that. But I like it all on one sequence just because it's when i'm jumping back and forth i know that everything is there and i could just depending on the section or the color that i know what part of the event i'm on so say like right here right and i'll just make like a quick little gap and i'll just move the timeline a little bit f further and then i'll go here and then this is the core shot right here this i'm gonna add that i'm gonna go here i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna add that i'm gonna go here i'm gonna go here and then i'm gonna add that i like this part this little push in part right here this push out part right here i'm gonna add that okay so yeah so this is the no, outdoor photo shoot and this is the interior so i'll just leave like a little gap essentially what you're doing is you're going ahead and going through all this footage making it in and out point you're inserting it into your timeline it's basically all you're doing and you're doing this all on the source panel in premiere pro if you're using that but you can do this with any editor program i believe so after you have this done there's a sequence in your project section so i'm gonna duplicate this i'm gonna open this up and so here you see that it's opened up right here and it's exactly the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything from off of here, off the duplicated sequence. And I'm going to bring this over here and I'm going to put it right underneath this, the first sequence that we made. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm having two sequences on the same screen. This sequence is going to be our select and this is going to be our video so this is going to be our video and this is going to be all of our select so now essentially what i have is i have every single shot that i think is good up here right in front of my face as i'm scrolling back foot back and foot back and forth so what i can essentially do is if i wanted to take a song and add it to this timeline wedding song that i want to make my highlight to essentially what you want to be able to do is say this entire section of the video you're going to have is just the outdoor photo shoot stuff you can just drag and drop all your selects and you already know these are the best shots that you have so you can just go listen to the beat cut 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 so it speeds up your editing time i've used this method on bts videos that i've made for different companies where i just go through terabytes of footage one time put them on a timeline i did right here and then work on different sections of that video so if there's a section where it's me talking or if a section where they're working and i have a, and i want to do a montage i can just bring all that montage footage down into this second timeline just cut through it based off the beat and the music plays the most important part and you're cutting to the beat regardless if you're, if you're not cutting to the beat you're you're doing yourself a disfavor right because that's how you elevate your video that's how you include sound into your video it's just like a natural thing at the cut like you'll see like even if you're watching a movie like they're always cutting to some kind of beat or cutting some kind to something and wedding videos are the same way you're cutting to the music that's playing in the background but yeah man i hope i explained that well yeah so this method has like helped me save days hours of time editing and i really like editing this way once you get to the video making process like the, the second timeline that's where you start massaging your clips and you don't have to worry about where the clips are what are you looking for there was a shot that like oh did i take this la la whatever you've already been to it you've already saw it and you've already made those selects for it this method helped me a lot in my filmmaking career and i hope this helps you guys if you guys have any other questions if i didn't explain it right or if it's a little bit confusing reach out to me go in the comments obviously hit me up on ig i'll be able to help you guys out you know not a problem at all but yeah man if you guys like these kind of videos you guys want me to keep doing the tips and stuff like that let me know yeah man this was a quick one hopefully i'm not sure i hope this was a quick one but yeah man i'm out and if you made it to the end of this video love you man have a good one bye